Mike's the ish, T Town, my guy yep. Kev in the building on this wonderful October 24th night after we just won this game against the Orlando, Orlando Magic, excuse me. You know what I mean? Game was 115 to 102. Good W. Uh before we, you know, deep dive into the pause to 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 the game and the stats and all that. Kev, you got anything you want to say to start off this episode? Um you know, we just uh, uh, appreciate everybody that pulled up in the spaces tonight. Uh, we had a great time talking Knicks basketball, man. Um, we had a great turnout as well. So, so you know, we're going to keep doing those uh, from here on out for the rest of the season. So, um, just, you know, look out for us on Knicks Twitter, Knicks and Nish. If you ain't If you ain't doing it already, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is literally on the banner below us. You know what I mean? That is that is something that you need to do. Uh, but, yeah, man, right. getting into this game real quick. Uh, you know, it was a little back and forth action in the beginning of the game uh, in the first quarter. And and before we – like I said, before we get into our, all the, the, the individual stats, the, the bench, man, I think the bench is what – what literally set us apart in this game and gave us the lead, and we we never looked back. Uh, they came and playing up tempo basketball, man, and I think that's what we're gonna do to a lot of teams with our second unit is literally run them out the gym, right? Because that's what we started to do with Orlando. Uh, my man Cam Cam Reddish in the open floor. I say it all the time. My my guy looks like a ball- like he's so graceful, bro. You feel me? He's so <laughs> in the open court, and he. Finishing a pause in a, 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 a variety of ways and getting to the basket. He's so tough in that situation. And for him to be effective, he needed to, to be doing that. But the bench, man, that's that's my my big takeaway from this game. You know, of course, we got the start line to play it amazing, but the bench is what I was really impressed by in the first half. Yeah, yeah. The bench, the bench really, really came. They really came through and set the tone right away. It was like it was like um, they made a mark, you know. They made a run. They started they started uh, pushing the pace on them, and and it, you know it really turned out well for us. Yeah, I, and and it, and it all comes down to I think it comes down to transition offense with the bench. Uh, I think they play really good defense as a unit. Uh, Cam Reddish, his arms is really long, and that's that's the thing that's impressive. Like his his physical tools. Definitely helps out that second unit on both ends of the floor. Defensively, I saw him like you know deflecting some passes and and, and making it difficult for uh, uh uh ball handlers. But you know, like he did, like IQ is somebody too that I was impressed by tonight. He didn't shoot well. He was 0 for five, 0 for four from three, but he had eight assists, eight assists, and he had two turnovers, but eight assists and six rebounds. You feel me? He still played really good basketball without actually having to score the basketball. And that was dope. You know, it was a uh, we was talking about it in the spaces, you know, the, the narrative being made up of, you know, Cam Reddish. Uh, I mean, uh, quickly, I, quickly and Cam Reddish and some kind of some kind of beef between the, the two of them. And as soon as they both get on the floor together, three straight assists. <laughs> and the first pass was immaculate. Like the it from really was. Pass it from a bounce pass all the way to Cam Reddish cutting towards the basket for an easy two. Next play. Next play, right back to Cam Reddish for another easy two. Man, I I I, I just wish, you know, my, my Nick fans just stop <laughs> uh creating these narratives out of nowhere that uh that they, they make up, man. And, and you definitely pointed that out in a uh a, in uh the spaces. You know, you got to, man. You got to because um, sometimes, you know, you know, people talk what they don't know. You know what I mean? And um, but at the same time, it's, it's good to see that, you know, even though he didn't shoot well, I was glad to see that he was like really he, he was really like uh, 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 being a point guard, setting people up, you know, facilitating because that's what he's supposed to do. You know, and a lot of people question his. Uh, um, a lot of people question him on how he how he can facilitate the ball. But tonight, he he proved that he can, man. Even when even when his shot was completely off. And, and speaking of his shot being off, man, I I noticed it's because he's hesitant. You feel me? He's hesitating when he shoots the ball. 
He's not shooting with confidence. And that's the problem. Like he passed up like passed up like a, a good two, three good looks tonight. Like mm-hmm. he took tougher shots because of it. You know, right. like he hesitated on an open shot, did a little dribble move and took a step back, contested three. You feel me? And that's the that's part of the reason why he's shooting poorly. But like you said, man, uh it definitely was a question that he's a he's a ball hog. Like people was calling him a ball hog that he couldn't pass the ball. I saw it for last season that he when he sets his mind to it, he, he can absolutely play the point guard position and, and be and do well at it. You feel me? Uh yeah, but another guy off the bench. We're gonna get to the starters, you feel me? But I like I said, I was impressed by the bench, so I wanna talk about the bench. My guy, mm-hmm. Isaiah Hartenstein, son. You feel me? <laughs> My guy Isaiah Hunt and the hustle he played with, the, the the fact that you at, when you see the loose balls, he's getting down. Pause. He's falling on the ground trying to trying to get the loose balls. He, and he's rebounding really well. Uh, eighteen minutes, nine rebounds, son. You feel me? Yeah. Eighteen yeah. minutes, nine rebounds. That that is impressive. That he's crashing the glass. We, you know, one of our guys in the spaces, my guy JJ Jackson. Shout out to JJ Jackson. Yeah, you know I mean that's team right, that's right there. Oh man, preseason. He was going in on Isaiah Hart and start. <laughs> Yo, word. He he was going in and um it, it, he wasn't his biggest fan at all. Um, you know, cause you know he loves uh, some Jericho Sims. I mean, uh we all I think at this point we all wanna see Jericho Sims got some minutes, but it's obvious that this guy brings something else to the to the court that we haven't had in the, in a long time. Yeah. You know, um, he opens up the floor. He can knock down a three. Um, he's a hustler. He grabs those offensive boards when you need them. And I know he gets mad when he hits, you know, the tap back. But hey, listen, it works. It we, works. We used to celebrate <laughs> that when uh, Chandler was doing it when he was a Nick. You feel me? Like Word. When Chandler was doing it. We'd be like, yeah. Word. <laughs> but, uh, Isaiah Hart is on seven points. On two for five shooting, and, and you know the beauty of Isaiah Hartenstein is the fact that and he was three for four from the free throw line. His center shooting three for four from the free throw line is pretty good. Uh, and it, the beautiful thing about Isaiah Hartenstein is the fact that he can shoot the three, but that doesn't mean yep. he's going to shoot it. You feel me? Like right. he's not going to just shoot, chuck up threes because he can. He's going to take the right ones. He didn't take a three tonight, and was still highly effective on the floor. He didn't have an assist tonight, but he still gave us great minutes. Even those those things are a a a, a, a part of his, his skill set. You feel me? Uh, he gave us great minutes off the off the bench, and, and I'm that's my guy. I called him a sneak a sneak pickup since we got him, and that's my guy. Isaiah Hartenstein is, is my guy off the bench. Uh, who else? Uh, Cam. Let's talk about Cam. We could talk about Cam. Yeah. Well, Cam. Derrick Rose didn't really play. Derrick Rose didn't really play much tonight. Nine minutes. I think Obi Obi had some highlights tonight too. Yeah. Um, I like I like when they I I like that I like that behind the back pass to Obi on a fast break, and Obi came through and, and and you know and banged it. So that was that was pretty dope. Now that was Obi with the pass to RJ, wasn't it? Yeah, he 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 was. There, um, I forget who passed. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, Jalen Brunson passed him the ball, and he was running out of bounds. And he was running out of bounds, and he went and passed it behind his back to 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 RJ, and put RJ it. just put it, just put yeah. it down, man. He put it down on him. And, and Obi had a pretty good night. You know, what I mean, coming off yeah. the 14 minutes, four for six from the fields, ten points, four rebounds, a steal, an assist, uh. And that's what's up. He was a plus nine for those who like that stat. I don't re- I like it, but I don't like that stat, but whatever. For those who like it. He- <laughs> and and he, he he played really good, man. Uh, oh, I think Obi is more effective when he's he's attacking the basket. He only shot one three tonight. He was 0 for 1. I don't want to see Obi shoot four three-pointers a night. I don't want to. That's not what he yeah. should be. You feel me? That's not the strength of his game. If he got it going, yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. If he got it going, shoot. Shoot, shoot to your heart content as long as you make it, right? But his, right. his superpower is getting to the basket. I want to see a lot of off-ball cuts to the basket. I want to see you running the floor with abandon because that's his superpower. And, and and he did that tonight. That's what he did. You feel me? Um, mm-hmm. 
and, and make your free throws. He was he only shot two, but he made both of them. You feel me? Uh, and, and, and highly impressed by OB game tonight. Nothing that really jumps out off the page. I think he could have got more minutes, but at the same time, it's hard to argue that when Julius is having a night like he's having. You feel me? Like you, you, it's hard to give OB minutes. Where Julius is playing the way Julius is playing in that. We're going to get there because you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're going to talk some shit, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, so, Bull, uh, Cam Reddish, you know, same thing with Cam. I feel like I don't want to see Cam over dribbling the ball. I want to see what he, he exactly what he did in the first half. Uh, but getting into his stacks real quick, he seven points, three for four. One for one from three point line. He ain't shoot no free throws. Uh, two rebounds, two assists. Uh, I want to see Cam do what he did in the first half. I don't want to see him get in a half court set, try to over dribble the ball, and make too much happen. I want to see him run the run the floor with abandon. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you get the, the the lead pass to you so you could do what you do in transition. Uh, when you catch the ball when in, in in the offensive flow, look to attack the hoop. You feel me? First and foremost. And if you get the open shot, shoot the three. And that's exactly how he played tonight. The game before against the Pistons, he was looking to do too much. And he was ineffective. Tonight, he played exactly how he should. Nah, nah. He played a great game. And um, and um, you know, the thing the thing with Cam, the thing with Cam is I think that at this point, at this point, we we, you know, we should start thinking about starting him over Evan. At some point, man, I mean, I mean, as soon as he comes off the bench, it's like, bow, yeah. effective right away. Six straight, uh, seven straight points, yeah. <laughs> three straight assists from quickly. As soon as they walk into the game, right? It's like, you know, if you're going to get that type of production, production so fast and, 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 you know, we already see that Evan is kind of like struggling out there defensively too. I think it's about that time we 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 take a look at Cam at the at you know maybe put him put RJ uh uh you know put Cam at the two RJ at the three. Yeah, I I would definitely love to see that look a little bit more. You know, uh, uh RJ at the two, Cam at the three. I think that'd be an amazing like defensively that'd do wonders. Mm-hmm. You know, and offensively, I don't think you lose too much because Cam has shown that he can hit the open three point shot. You feel me? Right. Uh, I do still believe Evan Fournier is a better shooter than Cam. Don't get don't get me wrong, but Cam showed he can hit the open three point shot, and he mm-hmm. more tools in the Swiss Swiss Army knife than just you know shooting a three. Not saying that that's all Evan can do, but that's predominantly what he's out there to do. Um, Evan didn't need twenty seven minutes tonight. It was uh-huh. obvious because who was he guarding? And he was getting cooked. You feel me? Um, he was. I forgot who he was guarding, but it was a mismatch. He was getting cooked. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, he was. He didn't need he didn't need 27 minutes. He didn't we, we could see that. I would definitely have loved to see uh Cam get some of those minutes and play on the same time as RJ because if the goal is for you to run the floor, and somebody said it in the spaces too, it looked like Ev struggles to get into the transition offense. Like he's slow mm-hmm. out the gate, and it's hard us for us to get into that transition offense when when uh Ev's on the floor. And got a question though. Do you think when Grimes come back, are we gonna see whose minutes is gonna diminish? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm I'm curious. Um, but at the same time, I'm concerned because it's like, what's going on with your foot, man? Is it that serious that you know, uh uh is it is it more than what we know? You know what I mean? Like what's going on with this injury? Because um, I, I haven't even heard of you practicing. I haven't heard of him doing anything. You know, it's just been silent when it comes to Quentin Grimes. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens. But at the same time, I, I I would think that we, we I mean, me personally, and I know a lot of people might disagree with this take because Evan is making money. But if anybody's minutes should be cut, it should be his. I mean, because, right, I mean, let's be honest here, man. We we all know here, all Nick fans know Cam Cam and Quentin Grimes are the better players. And we both know that those two kids are outplaying Evan in practice. 
Why they not getting more playing time is beyond me. That's a question you gotta ask Tibbs. But but if it was up to me, <laughs> I'd be taking away minutes from Evan, and he'd be coming off the uh he'd be coming off the bench, and I and I'd be having either Grimes or 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 Cam, you know, in and out of the rotation, you know, in and out of the uh one and two, you know. Because that that'll be killer, bro, with those two guys on the floor, man. One of the things I saw tonight, and I think that might start a trend in that direction, was Cam getting PT with Jalen Brunson. Yeah, and that 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 can start trending in that direction of you know getting Cam out there comfortable with playing with Jalen Brunson a little bit more because you know he he probably practices a lot with the second unit. So Tibbs is more comfortable putting them out there with the second unit with Obi and Quick and all that because they practice together. But tonight for him to get some PT on the court with Jalen Brunson and seeing how that look can can I think that could trend in a, in that direction. But as far as you know, Quentin Grimes' injury goes, it's more like I think the Knicks are at an advantageous situation where they don't feel the need to have to rush him in any mm-hmm. respect to get on a, on the court because we're so deep at that position. Pause, right? Uh, yeah, like you got RJ, you got Evan, and because Evan is still a, a decent player, bro. So like, mm-hmm. you got RJ, you got Evan, you got Cam, still to fill the void of that 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 spot. Pause, right? So it's no need to rush him back. Hey, we want you a hundred. You feel me? We want you a hundred when you step back on this court versus uh whatever. But I will say this. The secrecy behind it and, and the, the 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 lack of information we really receiving about this injury leads me to believe that it's way more worse than what uh, they lead it on to. Because going into you know training camp, it was a sore ankle, but he was in a walking. Yeah. Boot. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what's what's sore? You you know, walking boot for sore. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you know he practiced, then he's not practicing. He played one preseason game, then. He's in street clothes up until now. You know, I hope everything is all right, but the fact that he hasn't been on the court or practicing, like he's he sh- go practices his shoot around. That's a good sign. You feel me? Right. Like before the game, he's out there putting up shots and getting working. But yeah, uh, I hope whatever it is, I hope I see him on the court soon. But moving, um, I'm, yeah, I yeah. want to hold up real quick before before you. Uh, I want to piggyback off of what you were saying about Cam Reddish on the court with Jalen Brunson. Yeah. I think that would be a, that that would be some, a sight to see, man. Fact. Because so far the way that starting five is running the floor with Jalen Brunson, RJ Julius, Mitch, if you add that to that starting five, <laughs> yep. yo, we going to be yo, that's a problem, bro. That's we- a problem. Yeah, yeah, I agree a hundred percent, man. Uh, is it not because everybody could finish a transition, bro? Yo, but 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 I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, and and I love RJ, I love RJ Barrett, we, and, and this was a, a a tough topic of discussion on the spaces. Let me tell you, uh, we had one guy in there losing his mind because we was we was we was criticizing RJ Barrett. On, on the spaces, but hey, listen, you know I, I love R.J. Barrett, but he 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 got to finish, and that is something that Cam is great at doing. I think that he is one of the best finishers on the team because he makes it look so smooth. So just imagine if you add that to what the starters are doing, you know, pushing the pace. That's that's man, bro. That's a that's a great addition. I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. It's if if even if we move Evan to the bench, could he run? Can he can he keep up with the pace of the second unit? I brought that up on the spaces too. I don't think so because they're faster than the first unit. They faster than the first unit. Uh, so like I I don't even think he fits anywhere on his team, bro. <laughs> it, it it might be a trade. You feel me? Like it, it might be. We 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 gotta wait and see. You feel me? But you know transitioning to RJ since you brought it up, you know. He did finish with uh twenty points, uh seven for nineteen shooting, uh three for seven from the three point line, three for four from the foul line, uh 
six rebounds, one assist. But that first that first half was treacherous, man. One of nine from the field. Like he 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 was just awful. And that and that was what we was criticizing, you know. Um mm-hmm. the fact that like, all right, bro, you you won for nine. Like we we all got you know, I'm a big RJ Barrett fan. I've been calling him Star J Barrett. That's it's uh but you know, uh I think it was Jay from Florida. Shout out to Jay from Florida for pulling up to the Back. He said something that was really dope too. It was, and I agree with it. it's like I right, yo, guys in your your draft class is coming out the gate ready to ball. That's a fact. High level. The two guys above you are playing really good basketball. Darius Garland is playing really good basketball. He was drafted. Yeah. That. That's okay. a fact. So, you know, and the fan is uh, holding everybody accountable. This being yeah. him, his uh, fourth year, you just got the bag. Ain't no more waiting two months for you to warm up, bro. <laughs> like, we mm-hmm. need all now. And that's what we was talking about in the first half about R.J. Barrett. But, Yo. mm-hmm. but in the second half, he did what he was supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, he did. And that's the RJ Barrett I want to see hitting open three point shots, bro. He's not like he's not really taking a lot of bad three pointers. He's just not making them. He's just not making them. That's a fact. And they be yo, they're really good shots. You know, they're wide open shots, but you just gotta hit them, man. Yeah, and, and to your point, he's not he's not finishing at the basket. Uh, I think he forces the issue a little bit too much sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and I, I also think if he he had a, a adequate mid range shot to lean on, would help with his drives to the basket, because he has mm-hmm. a hesitation move that he uses, but nobody falls for it because, um, we know you're not shooting the midi. <laughs> we know we're mm-hmm. gonna play you for this drive, bro, because we know you're going for the drive, especially when you go to your left hand. You're going all the way to the basket, bro. We know this. You feel me? So it, when he's able to mix up. His moves a little bit more going to the basket. If he had a more reliable mid range shot, if he had a little better handle, so he'll be able to get to the basket with better ease and, and and not have people you know sending his shit into the front row all the time. But he came out in the second half and, and did what he's supposed to do. You feel me? Running the floor, you know, not quitting on the play, and that's how you get the pass from Obi going behind. And I think that's one of the th- plays that kind of started ca- catapulting his game, you know, offensively. Once he start making those offensive layups and all those things, then you start mm-hmm. making three point shots. You know, yep. coaches always tell you play play inside out, start getting close to the rim, see the ball going mm-hmm. in a few times, and then yep. those other start shots start to fall. Go ahead, Kev, you got it. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I, hey, I, I'm, I, what you said was great, man. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm on I'm on for the next topic. So you know you got Evan, the guy that we all think should well, me and you at least think should get a little bit less minutes. Cause I yep. when he's on fire, leave Ev out there. You feel me? But mm-hmm. when he's not really making anything. He shot all three pointers. He was two from eight from, from the field, eight points, mm-hmm. uh two the foul line, uh two rebounds, two assists. Uh, he was a plus eight for those who like those things, but in the grand schemes of plus and minuses, <laughs> yeah. you know, he, he's in the middle of the pack. But yeah, I think Ev, like I said earlier, Ev was getting his man was beating him. I forgot who he was guarding, but his man was beating him. You feel me? Uh, pause. Uh, <laughs> Ross, he was guarding Ross, yeah, Ross, Ross, you know. Ross, Ross was kind of giving him a business in the first half, even though Ross only finished with eight points. But Ross was, you know, I think all eight of those points was on Evan for <laughs> You feel me? And when Evan's shot is not falling, it, him, when he's, a, he becomes more of a defensive liability. It's almost like he's not a good defender and he tries less when he's shooting bad. You feel me? And, right. Then what purpose is he really serving on the court? You know, and Cam could have got those minutes because even when Cam's not getting the ball, he's still making efforts on the defensive end. You feel me? He still has the ability to run the floor and, and 
and make some tough baskets in transition. Like 27 minutes for Ev tonight was way too much in my eyes. Yeah, facts. Especially when he didn't put much up. Put that that that's exactly why we were saying like I think I think Reddish got like 14, 15 minutes. You definitely, you definitely could have cut, you definitely cut that 27 minutes and you could have gave at least at least Cam like 20 to 22 minutes, you know? And 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 you know, give the kids some burn, man. I mean, you know, I don't understand to you say you know, if you practice well and you play hard and you do all this stuff, you are you gonna earn your minutes. So I think this kid, I think this kid's earned, you know, fifteen to twenty minutes a game, man. Yeah, and you can't tell me that Cam Reddish is not busting Evan Fournier ass in practice, bro. Well, exactly. You can't tell me it's Excuse not. Me. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Tibbs some credit and not criticize him too harshly because he did list the parameters of the way he makes the decision. It's like what units play well together and things like that. And that's why I think he's kind of like acclimating Cam into other units and playing with with uh, other people. Like I, like I said, him playing with, with Jalen Brunson is a thing that I think that is going to trend more in the right direction where he's playing with the first unit more often. Right? Uh, but Ev, I didn't think Ev there's not too much to say negative or positive about Ev, except for the fact that he was a cone on defense tonight and he didn't mm-hmm. need seven minutes. Uh, Mitchell Robinson. First half, I wasn't thoroughly impressed with Mitchell Robinson. I was kind of like a little annoyed because I'm like, yo, bro, you bigger and stronger than all these guys. You need yeah. And just like last game, he came out like the first half in the, in, against the Pistons. He wasn't really – particularly doing anything special. Second half, he came out and started dominating. And the same thing happened at night. He, first half, he was there. He was doing some good stuff. He blocked some shots, you know, doing normal Mitch stuff. But I didn't feel like he was really imposing his will against this younger and, 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 and smaller team compared to him. You know, second half, Mitch was, was with the shits, getting tippings, putbacks, you feel me? Like, all that getting second chance baskets and all those things that we need Mitch to do. He did that in the second half. Uh, what's the stat line? 14 points, six 14, re- rebounds. Yeah. Three blocks, one steal or something like that. One steal. Shout out to Kev for knowing the stat line and not even looking at it. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. And it's still, he was six for seven for the field because you know Mitchell Robinson only going to shoot the highest of percentages. Fact, fact. Back ducks and, and alley oops, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now, but Mitch, this is the Mitch that we need to see on a night night basis. I think he should have had more rebounds. Personally, I think since Orlando Magic is 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 bad in my eyes. You know, considering I mean, consider- but to his defense, but to his defense, you still got but Banchero out there. You still got Wendell Junior out there. Wendell Carter Jr. in his name is, um, you know, you you still got some guys out there that that that's gonna give him a hard time to grab rebounds. I mean, he was still, you know, he I think he had like three offensive rebounds or something like that. It also meant yeah, three o- offensive. He had five actually. A five offensive rebound. Yeah, all ninety okay. percent of his rebounds came on the offensive side. Shout out to him for that. But right. I- well, what hinders him sometimes from getting defensive rebounds is his 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 great ability on help defense, right? And right. what what needs to happen more when Mitchell Robinson is helping covering up somebody else's mistake, somebody got to rotate the box out his man, you know. When Dale Carter Jr. tonight had like three putback dunks off the fact that Mitchell had to rotate this probably help Evan Fournier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wendell just swooped in and, and caught some some easy baskets because Mitch had to cover somebody else's man. Uh, rotation on that side gotta be better. You feel me? Yeah, like, that's a fact. and usually I think that I, t- I think it was RJ was responsible for one time, but I can't I can't call the other times that it happened. But the the, the, the rotations need to be better as as far as that goes when Mitch is doing what he's supposed to do, helping out, being a, a rim protector. So we got to box out. Uh, 
If you don't have nothing added to that, then we're going to move on to the main two. Now, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Save it the best fast, because you know I'm going to talk some shit, Cap. <laughs> I want, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dalen Brunson. Yes, sir. The point guard that we all knew that we needed is showing off the bat in this season that he is the real fucking deal. Uh, and, yeah, we curse here for those who might just be tuning in for this. <laughs> Not a family show. You know what I mean? I like to talk hot sports how I like to talk sports, baby. Run, <laughs> 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 man, 21 points. Uh, six for eight. I mean, 16. I mean, eight, excuse me. Wow. What, what, what am I looking at? Eight for 16 from the field. Two for four from three-point line. Three for three from the foul line. Three rebounds, six assists, two steals, and he, I think, he had three turnovers tonight. That's odd, you feel me? But whatever. I still take it, you feel me? Uh, nah, hey, it's going to happen, man. Yo, this is had somebody said it in the spaces. No, did they say? They didn't say it in the spaces. I saw it somewhere else on Twitter. It's the, it's the quietest 21 points that I think I've ever seen, bro. Like, <laughs> and, and that's but. the about his game. He he just strateg- strategically has a, a major impact on games. You feel mm-hmm. me? And and the picture of efficiency, shooting 50% across the board. Shooting 50% across the board. Six assists. You know, like, bruh, like, he, he makes the game so much easier for everybody, and you can see it's constant. He's in constant control of the game, bro. Like, he's in constant control of the pace and the game of himself. And I don't got much to say except for it's, it's a joy. It's, it's a real Nick fan dream and joy to look at a game and be like, we got to that, – that boy is a point guard for real. And, yeah, and man. It, it proves again right off the bat he looks so comfortable with the team, man. He looks so comfortable. But, yeah, again, but, uh, I'm – I, I mean, I mean, listen, man. You know, everything you said was right. Um, um, I agree with everything you were saying, man. Like he's everything we needed since, since you know. I mean, we thought we thought that's what Kemba was supposed to be. You know what I mean? That that's what that's exactly what Kemba was supposed to be last year, and and we didn't get that from him, and that's why we struggled the way we struggled. But you know. Stuff like that goes over a lot of people's head. You know, they'll they'll put all the blame on Julius Randle this and Julius Randle that and this, that, and the third. And a lot of y'all got to apologize. <laughs> a lot of y'all getting exposed right now. All the Julius Randle haters, y'all all getting exposed right now. Because this just proves to our point, to our point, point because we've been saying this since last year we've been telling people since last year don't let us get a point guard facts don't let us get a point guard that's gonna unleash all these guys and look we finally got a point guard to 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 be able to get these guys to play the way they need to play he is the floor general that we needed Yo, yo, it, 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 the, the the term, everything that we needed, nobody knows that more. The the next person we about to talk about, my guy Julius Randle. I I I know three three games into the season, I know, I know, guys. You know, it's only three games, but at the same time, he's been a picture of efficiency in these three games. You know, uh, tonight. Let me give you the stat line. 25 points. Uh, 10, well, for, 10 for 19 from sh- shooting. You know, I got to give those first. I got to give those. You got to give those field goal percentages first. You feel me? 10 for 19 uh, from the field. Three-point shot still a little shaky for Julius. Two for nine from three-point range. Three for five from uh, the free throw line. 12 rebounds, four assists, one steal. You know what I mean, he had two turnovers, but when you get the when you have the ball in your hand as much as Julius Randle does, those things tend to happen, right? But yeah, I, I agree with Kev. 
Start 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 filling out your Julius Randle apology forms now. Uh, yeah. I, Julius Randle, the way he's playing so under control, his mm-hmm. en- energy on the court. I, back to the line that you used, Kev, everything that this team needed. No one knows that more than Julius Randle. I think the shift in his energy comes from, hey, I actually got the point guard I need to be successful. Campbell Walker was supposed to be that for him last year. Going into the season, Julius Randle didn't have a bad attitude. As he realized that Campbell Walker was washed up is when he started to get that attitude. Like, okay, mm-hmm. I, we, this is why we got bumped in the playoffs uh, uh, one to four because I had no. Now I'm going back to not having help because Derrick Rose is injured. This goes to the bad attitude. The, 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 the exuberance you see Julius Randle playing with, the, the hustle on both ends of the court, him sprinting down the court, and I also think that has a lot to do with his conditioning this year. The, Julius Randle looked like an action figure, son. Like, I was watching him go to the bench, and I'm looking at the cuts on his arm. I'm like, yo, this dude is in amazing shape. And I think that has a lot to do with the way he's able to get up and down the court, the way that he's able to exude so much energy on both ends of the floor. And the fact that he doesn't have to be a point forward also helps with his energy level. And his shot selection is amazing. Picking and choosing when to attack and score, when to defer. Uh, He's making um, amazing decisions with the basketball. You saw this all tonight. This is all incumbents in tonight's performance. You know what I mean? 25 points. We looking at another 2010 and 5 year for Julius Randle, but I think the difference between this year and last year is that he's going to shoot around 45 to 45 to 48% from the field. That's the difference from him shooting 40% last year to 45 to 48% and we have nothing nothing better to think but but but, but Jalen Brunson and the up tempo pace of the basketball game. And don't be surprised later on down the line, the three-point shot is going to start dropping. I wouldn't tell him to stop shooting. I'd tell him to keep shooting because eventually that that, that shot's going to start dropping, bro. And and his three-point percentage is only going to get higher, you know. But um, but um, hey, listen, uh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad to see him like this, bro, because we already knew this. We 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 knew this already. It was everybody else that that put a blind flow around their eyes and try to cover. And they, they, we knew this. We knew that 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 you know Julius is the player he was. We never lost faith in him. We just knew that you know we didn't have that guy to take the pressure off of him. And now we got it. And now you seeing what 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 we've been saying for the past two years. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, and to, to 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 piggyback off what you were saying about his three point shot, he's taking good ones. You feel yeah. me? Taking good ones. Uh, and those are the shots that we seen him make when Derrick Rose first came to the Knicks, and he started going crazy. He shot forty percent from three like that year. You know, um, and that's because he was taking those kind of shots. I don't want to see him take nine three pointers. I that's that's just too much for me. You know what I mean? Like if he's making them and they're they're falling, I okay. Go go crazy, and that's with anybody. You feel me? Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. hot? Keep shooting, baby. You feel Facts. me? Facts. I don't. I don't. I, just as a rule of thumb, I don't want to see Julius Randle shooting nine nine three pointers. No, you no, know, so uh, seven of his nine misses tonight came from three point range. Mm-hmm. You know, I, if he doesn't shoot, if he doesn't shoot those, he shoots like ninety percent from the field tonight. <laughs> if, yeah. <laughs> If he doesn't take seven of those three pointers, you feel me? Like, yeah. So that's just the rule for me. If you're not hot, you should. There's no way, way in the world you should be shooting nine three pointers. But Coach Tommy T tells them if you're open, shoot it. And he's right in that aspect. But at the same time, like, could you possibly get a better shot? I th- I think you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I'd rather him. I'd rather see him. You know. Uh uh. Um, abuse, abuse them down low. Facts, pause. Take it to the rack. You know what I mean? Because that, those are your strengths. Yeah. You know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, 
Yeah, man. I, I start getting ready to write those Julius Randle apology forms, son. Y'all should have been wrote those. Y'all should have been wrote those. We uh, we are watch All Star Year Julius Randle, All Star Year again, right back like he never left. You feel me? It's loading, Playboy. As long as we remain healthy, you know what I mean. As long as we remain healthy, All Star Year. You feel me? And I think, God forbid, God forbid, anything happen to Jalen Brunson. I think we have the adequate backups that Julius Randle could still be affected. Like I like I was mentioning earlier, quick, even though he wasn't scoring, he ran the team in the, the second unit offense really well tonight. Yeah. Really well. So if him or or, or or Derek Rose have to fill in a role for Brunson for whatever reason, I got confidence that Julius Randle could still maintain this level of play. Last thing before we get up out of here, you know what I mean? Uh, unless you got something else you wanted to talk about. No, you good. Uh, you know, got to rate the coach, of course. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Coach Tommy T. I think he did an amazing job coaching tonight. I, I like yep. in in the rotation that he he was throwing out there. You know, the mix and match in the players. I just one thing I wish that we got in in that aspect. I wish we got to see a little bit more R.J. Barrett and Cam Reddish on the court at the side. Side. Uh, one knock I got on them is that I don't. See the reason RJ Barrett needed to play 38 minutes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Same time, I, I kind of get it. RJ Barrett started to heat it up, heat up. So you leave him on the court. He struggled all game. You need RJ Barrett to get his shit back together. Gotta keep him on the court. Find your rhythm, play, boy. You know, and, and the only way you could do that is to be on the court, but at the same time, it's like 38 minutes. Could have gave Cam some of those minutes too. You know, because yep. Cam good game. Overall, I think Coach Tommy T coached a really good game. I love the the, the mix the mix, mixing up of the roster. You feel me? I love the time that he's getting a heart and staying to play with, you know, the starting unit as well as the bench. You know, because again, Mitch is foul prone. We know this. Got to get heart and steam uh, acclimated with playing with the starters as well. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Coach Tommy T. Coached a really good game tonight. Against a, a scrappy young team, bro. Like, like, let's not, let's give the 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 uh the magic Orlando the magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's credit. They zero and four, but from what I've told, I ain't watched none of them games. Shout out to the guys in the spaces for you know updating me on on other teams uh, that they've been in all of the games that they lost. They've been fighting. Yeah. All the lost. This was a trap game. If there ever was a trap game, bro. Like. This is a game that we could have absolutely slept on these guys and, and got washed up, especially in the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. They, they fought. And they, I think at, at one point they brought the game back pretty close in the second half. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Shout out to Tommy T for, for, you know, keeping his guys engaged and and, 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 and keeping the tempo all game long. But, yeah, that that's it for me. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing, man. Next time. Next time, uh, I I would like for Coach Tibbs to cut a little bit of RJ RJ's minutes, a little bit of Evan minutes, and just you know give those minutes to Cam, man, because we need to see Cam more, man, because it's obvious that this guy uh has earned some some more minutes, you know he 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 he's earned you know like I said earlier twenty to twenty two minutes, man. So you know I hope I hope that uh Coach Tibbs sees this. Yeah, so one more thing, you know what I mean? Because the, 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 the go with your speech are on minutes. I know that the OB Hive is like, yo, OB need more than 14 minutes. How do you give OB more than 14 minutes when Julius is playing the way he played tonight? So like, fact. how do you justify that? Like, you, you <clears throat> don't, can't. And it's not like yeah. Julius, uh, 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 38 minutes tonight, Julius played. 34 minutes. I think for a starter, though, that's right around the star player, the, the, the best player on your team, that's right around the minutes that those guys usually get. So, mm-hmm. Julius Randle, like, a night like tonight, you can't give Obi more than 14 minutes a game because they play the same exact position. Yeah, that's a fact. You can't play Julius at the five because 
we're gonna lose on the boards because of uh Wendell Carter, uh uh Bo Bo. Like those guys are, 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 are tall and they're gonna kill us on the board. Like we didn't have an advantage on the boards tonight, bro. Like yeah. mm -mm. on the boards tonight, if I'm not We have fifty rebounds. We had nine more rebounds. You feel me? And mm -hmm. I because we had our centers out there. Mm -hmm. Rebounds. And that's you know what I mean? Julius did a great job on the board too, but I don't I don't think he does it as good a job on the board. God and Wendell, you know what I mean? And and Bo Bo. You don't you don't get those same kind of rebounds. So on those nights, on nights like the nights when Julius is absolutely doing what Julius does, it's hard to find minutes for Obi. You feel me? Uh I don't know if you want to follow up on that. Nah, that's a fact because um those guys would have abused Obi's on the on the rebound tip, man. Nice. Uh, Bo Bo, when Wendell Carter Jr., those guys would have abused Obi, bro. There's no way those guys would have handled oh <laughs> like Obi can't deal with that, man. He and, and I mean he's a decent rebounder, but he's not the best rebounder either. Yeah. So so it's hard, man. Like, listen, listen. I I get I get everybody's gonna be disappointed because Obi's not getting minutes. But when you got like you said, Randall playing like this. It's not happening, y'all. <laughs> it's not happening. You you're gonna have to deal with the fifteen to the to fifteen to seventeen minutes that he's gonna be getting and be happy with it. He's gonna have to take advantage yeah, he, of he, what he is being given. You have to learn how to optimize his minutes. That's yeah, true. you have to. In that fourteen minutes, bro, you gotta show out. Facts. You gotta show out because right now. The way Julius Randle has been playing in these past three games, bro, it's gonna it's gonna be hard, bro. It's gonna be hard to see Obi get minutes. And I'm a guy who likes Obi just as much as the next person. Yeah, I love Obi too. But you know, Obi got to start knocking down his shots too. His three point shots are super suspect. You gotta start knocking those shots down. That's the thing. If if you're not going to use your superpower and continuously trying to <laughs> basket. Get over there, set some really tough screens and roll so you can get the ball and, and, and yam it on people. Uh, shout out, he caught a body tonight, though. That yeah, one he, that, did, he did. That's he, somebody's on a poster. <laughs> <laughs> he yammed it a few times. Yeah. So, uh, but if you're not gonna do that and you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, use the Clyde's words, neander around a three point line, you gotta make them and you yeah. get them. Feel me? Like and, and when Obi's off, they're ugly. You feel me? Like when he's yeah, missing, man. ugly misses. But you know, if you gonna be out there, you gotta knock those down, man. Uh, yeah. I, if you ain't got nothing else to add, that's it for me, bro. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. All right, yeah. You know, I, I, you probably already seen the animation earlier in the video, but if you haven't done already, like and subscribe. If you if you rocked out this far with your boys, you feel me? Like and subscribe. Comment. All that good stuff. Share, tell, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend about Nixon ish. If you do, uh, you know, see you the next day after the next game. You feel me? Uh, this is tea time. Kev, we out of here. I holla. Hey, hey.